super highway. Oh, I hate getting in late. The face of the earth is cleared to make way for the farmer's plow. My cow! And under the earth, coal is torn loose to give us heat, uh -huh. light, and power. All right. I'm the force love this that one. moves mountains and does all this work? Baboon. Dynamite. Dynamite! One of man's most useful tools. It's bad for your back. To explode the dynamite, detonators, more commonly called blasting caps, are needed. Or blowy uppy things. They're safe and useful in trained hands, but dangerous when handled by boys or girls or inexperienced adults. This story is about blasting caps. And how they can change your life for the better. Blasting caps seem really cool so far. I don't know about you. I know, I'm excited. I'm so happy we're doing it. A lot of the Brady kids had died off by this point. Bomber. <laughs> it is. It is not. It's a fighter. Bomber. Oh, what a girl know. Oh, about I saw this debate on CNN. I know a lot about planes. My daddy flies one, you know. Besides, it says so right there on the box. That's what I said it was. An attack bomber. You said it was a fighter. Did I tag? Why would he say it was a fighter if it was a bomber? Yeah. The truck knows more about planes than you or your dad. Yeah, he just flies them. He's the best airline pilot in the country, and when I grow up, I'm going to be an airline pilot too. Who ever heard of a girl <laughs> yeah, that's airline a good dream. pilot? My daddy says there's a first time for everything. So suck it, sis asshole. Hi, kids. I'll be home in a minute. What do you want to play with planes for? Why don't you play with dolls? You're a tomboy. Oh, quit picking on her. What did you say? She's not hurting you. Just cause this is about blasting caps, isn't it? <laughs> for her. I'm not sticking up for her. Exactly. Well, if you'd rather play with girls than with me. When Bernie Bros Daddy, fight. If you want to go to the airport with me to meet Daddy, you better come in and wash your hands. I'm coming, Mother. What's so special? Why are you going to the airport? It's Daddy's birthday, and we're going to have a birthday party. We want to have ice cream and cake? Sure, and steak. And we're going to cook it right over That's there. a lot of That's information to give up. New grill. And just our family's going to be there. No boys. Mm. Who wants to come to your old party anyhow? Mm. Oh, let her go. What do we do? She's the only other person we Let's know. Okay. I'll get some cookies. This short film uses cookies to improve our service. Please kick Fires, here if you can sleep. So what? Dog on girl. Think she's so smart. Hey, that's a resin kit. That was hard to find. Well, that scene certainly ended. The 50s arriving on runway three. See, I would have cut to dad getting luggage. Cut to dad walking to car. J.K. Rowling hates Transworld Airlines. Can Mel Blanc fly in this plane? The golden age of lack security. Hi, hi, we're over here in the crowd. My wife's here, shut up. Are we all set for the party? You Directed by Harold P. Warren. <laughs> Kathy, you've been such a good girl. I've got a present for you on my birthday. Oh, Daddy, is it a countdown? I hate it when the camera's on the person talking. Hey, do you have music clearance for that song? This is actually my favorite cover ever of I've Been Working on the Railroad. So good. Bikers. Hey, maybe Mr. Barrow can fix it. That's handsome. Hey, Mr. Barrow. His first name's Wheel. Hi, fellas. What you doing way out here? Taking a ride, but something's wrong with my bike. Well, bring it over. Let's have a look at it. I'll just grab the I bike's balls and ask it to bike. cough. If I do say so. Well, you have to. Fix it so I can ride it home? Well, I reckon. I got some tools back there in the shack. Say, why don't you fellas go around back and pick yourselves an apple? The trees are loaded with them. Which is weird, because they're not apple trees. Come on, Chuck, race it! Okay. <laughs> Say, bike, 
Do you like I've been working on the railroad? Come on, sing along with me. I've been working on the... Come on, sing along! Well, I'll have that stripped and sold in no time. Oh, Don't eat the ones on. off the ground. Beat you again. Where do I get my bike fixed? Race it home. Okay. That Mr. Barrow is nice. Yeah. I love apples well, when they haven't been cleaned. Going the way he does. Wouldn't you? Oh, I guess it'd be okay. But I'd rather be a pilot. Like Kathy's dad? My apple, it's getting away. Maybe. Hey, I leaned on a prop. Kathy thinks she's so smart. You know, I bet if we got back before they finished the party, they'd give us some ice cream. People always One track have ice mine. cream and cake on birthdays. What's that, Chuck? My finger, you idiot. What All right, it? five minutes sort of in. Like finally, we got a blasting cap. I saw some kids put one under a tin can and set it off. Boy, it made a loud noise. Let's do it. Wait, I got a better idea. I don't think Why? so. Kathy and her dad are building a fire in their grill, aren't they? Sure, but what's that? We'll sneak up and drop it in. It'll go bang. And boy, then we'll see how smart that Kathy is. It'll scare the daylights out of her. Sounds like a good plan. Think we should do it? Sure, it'll be fun. We'll sneak up, drop it in, and then hide. And watch their faces when it goes off. Hey, that Suppose does sound like fun. Gets hurt. Nobody will get hurt. It's just like a firecracker. Come on, let's get our bike. What a caper. Okay. Race it. That'll be fun, too. Whee! This is fun. Hey, I didn't know these could do that. Whee! Got it fixed. Thanks a lot. Come on, Tag. We will be late. Oh, you boys got a big date, huh? I'll say we Come on, Tag. Uh, I've whoop. changed my mind. I don't want to do it. Oh, for Pete's sake, why not? I just don't want to, that's all. Okay, I'll do it myself. This means more exploded ice cream for me. What's he up to? Uh, nothing. Just a joke he's going to play with someone. Uh -huh. Well, got to get this stuff loaded on the truck. How about if I help you? Okay, Dad. I'll need you to sign a W-2 first. You can help me by leaving. Leave that alone, son. Those are my Star Wars action it's figures. Easy now. <laughs> it's my VHS of German fisting porn. Be careful. You load the tools on the truck. I'll take care of these. <laughs> you gotta be mighty careful with caps. We don't let boys handle them. They're too dangerous. People might wear Where them. Where are they? Electric blasting caps. We need them to set off dynamite. Yeah. Did you say they were dangerous? Oh, uh, you're doggone right they are. Look here. Boom! boom. <laughs> filled with a high-powered explosive. An electric current sets it off. And when this cap goes off, that sets off the dynamite, see? Now, because these caps are very powerful, they're very dangerous, especially if they're handled carelessly or like this. into the hands of children or somebody who doesn't understand them. You could stand 200 feet from one of these things when it exploded, and the flying metal could wound you or put an eye out. Could, keyword. Chuck said, I mean, I thought it wouldn't hurt you. Let me show you something. This is gonna hurt. You see that old shoe over there, Tag? Now, if you were to put a blasting cap in it and set it off, it would, it would turn into a sandal. It would give you some idea of how dangerous a blasting cap can really be. Babe Ruth, with his mighty swing, never did do a baseball what a little blasting cap can do. Who's Babe Ruth? <laughs> Kids have been known to set off blasting caps under a tin can. Why, we don't know. And you don't even have to be holding them to get hurt. You see? They're like a hand grenade. A hand grenade? Yes. Dangerous wow, as a hand, hand grenade. grenade Why, only a couple of weeks ago on a construction job not far from here, a boy found a cap and he started to hammer it with a stone to see what would happen. That boy's right hand was crippled. He'll never play baseball again. He never but played in the first place. Kill you? Yep. Might even do that. Might but I keyword. thought it just made a noise like a big firecracker. It does. And so does a hand grenade. Chuck Get off the hand grenade. It looks sort of like that, but not exactly. Oh, uh, wait a minute. I'm going to set off this hand grenade to prove my point. Does it look like this? Like your hand? This is a different kind, but just as dangerous. If you ever find a cap, don't touch it. Leave it where it is and tell someone who knows something about them. Remember, 
one of them can cripple or blind you for life. Then why do you leave them lying around your apple tree, hey, asshole? Why do you, you put going? this on the boy? Man, tough crowd. Oh man, I wish I didn't live three states over. Oh, a Lego home. Where's Daddy? He's in the house changing his clothes. Into what? Well, please tell him to hurry. The fire's almost ready. Good, I'm stoned. <laughs> oh God, why didn't I use my car? <laughs> Drop it in the fire. It'll go bad. You don't even have to hold them to get hurt. They're like a hand grenade. I'll bet it scares the daylights out of Kathy. One of them can cripple or blind you for life. Look out, there's even more danger right there. That's an oleander bush we learned about in the previous show. <laughs> dangerous when boys and girls touch them. We'll trap it in the fire and hide out. Mike, put an eye out. Mike, put an eye out. It's not Mike, how you wear a mask. They're like Dental that. plan. Lisa needs Mike braces. Dental Mike plan. Lisa needs braces. This will be a blow against women's liberation. I've come back in time to kill her before she starts Ms. Magazine. Not a very good ninja. Howdy, cowgirl. She's not bang, bang, gotcha. He had a silencer. Oh, Yippee Kaye, motherfucker. She's dead again. with you. I'm all right. We're just playing. This kid is terrible at sneaking. I hey, know. what's going on here? Hey, Phyllis, what's gotten into you? He was going to throw this in the fire. Boy, that's a blasting cap. Oh, Chuck. Don't you know these things are dangerous? You, you could have killed somebody. Could. I didn't mean to hurt anybody. It was just a, a joke. Joke, huh? It was a conceptual bit. This could have bit. wounded any one of us. Could have. Might have hit us, right? Or it might have put out an eye. A lot of conjecture here. I've been in air battles in a lot of tight places. You fly for Delta. But I've never had a closer call than just now. Did everybody have blasting caps, caps back then? They were explosives. strewn across the countryside. Do you know that now? I'm just going to put this in here with my manifesto. All right, now I want you to promise never to touch a blasting cap. If you ever see one, don't move it, don't touch it with anything. Leave it just where it is and call someone. Who Maybe knows this video should have been directed at the construction workers. Now I'm going to take this over to Mr. Barrow myself. Can I go with you, Daddy? Sure, Kathy. You losers are not invited. Were you really scared, Daddy? Scared? Of course I was. Look at all the pee. <laughs> well, I think what could have happened to you, I get cold shivers. But they say children learn best from experience. So if you've learned never, ever to touch a blasting cap, well, then perhaps it was worthwhile. Come on. Daddy, can I play with a blasting cap? What did I just tell you? Hey, you kids don't live there. Take a good look at this blasting cap. And your weird and hand. And don't touch it. Swallow it. Trust no one. Here's another kind. Don't touch it. Without its consent. It's indica. This one's a little different. That's sativa. Don't touch it. It's a hippie blasting cap. Here's one more. Remember what it looks like and don't touch it. Well, now I have to touch it. Can't touch this. If you ever see any of these blasting caps anywhere, don't move them. Don't touch them with anything. Leave them just where they are and call a policeman, a fireman, a sheriff, a nun, or tell your mother and father. Unless your mother and father work for Blackwater. Oh, Pennsylvania is violent. <laughs>